All right, all right, all right, everybody. This is Every Man's 40K channel, and I am Every Man, your host. Well, it's been a minute ever since I got the word that uh, Tenth was dropping on uh, early June. I kind of, kind of got disappointed, a little bit disheartened here. Really, really throws a monkey wrench into the channel because I just do not want to build anything that's not going to be playable or competitive. Sure, there's the fun factor, but man, I just, I gotta, I gotta get my orc boys to win. So I gotta build everything that's competitive. So I apologize for not posting so much content like I used to. I used to try to post every, you know, one video every two weeks, you know, something, converting, painting, doing a, you know, showcase, something. But I just, I'm like you guys, I'm just a hobbier, you know? So I, I gotta wait for those indexes to come out when we see that 10th edition drop. Then we can go ahead and crank this baby up and start getting into it. So that's why kind of I popped in here today because I wanted to give you a preview of what's coming, right? So we're about from today, it's I think uh, May 12th or 13th. And we've got about a month, you know, two weeks, maybe three weeks till we all get our hands on 10th edition. So I just wanted to pop in here and tell you guys or let you know what's coming up for the future of the channel and that and to give you some assurance that I'm still here I haven't uh, I haven't got hit by a bus or anything and that the channel's still going it's just like I said I'm a hobbier I'm just like you guys so I'm just kind of in a little holding pattern here at 40,000 feet until I get the uh, permission to land so in front of you I got some shooter boys now I got some chopper boys over here some shooter boys over here I'm predicting that they're going to get rid of the uh, minus one AP on the Choppa for 10th uh, edition. And I think that's a little bit of uh, armor of contempt. You know what they kind of did with the Marines and uh, Adeptus Astartes. They kind of give them armor of contempt to keep them in the fight a little bit longer. Well, I mean, if they're, if they're going to get rid of that for 10th, but then they're still going to give them the staying power and the ability to fight. I mean, one of the things I think they're going to do is they're going to get rid of the minus one. Anyway, so back to this. So I got some shooter boys. If they get rid of the minus one chopper, then maybe shooter boys can have some play. Just depends on what they do with them and their points cost. But if they don't, if shooter boys do not have play on the new indexes coming out, what we're going to do is we're going to take these 10 boys and we're going to convert them into 10 more commandos. I have 10. You guys have seen them. It was like one of my first videos I put out there. If you haven't, go check out that video uh, on the commandos putting ghillie suits on them. We're going to give these boys the same treatment. So we're going to give them the night vision goggles. We're going to put a little bit of ghillie suits on them. We're going to put the suppressors on their rifles. So yeah, we're still going to have uh, shooters. But they're just going to be kind of uh, snipers or they're going to look a little bit different. They will look beautiful. Okay, now over to these boys. I have 10 of these regular boys already. So I'm going to build 10 more Slugger and Chopper boys to give me a total of 20. So we're talking 20 Commandos, 20 regular boys. And then I've done a showcase where I've showed you my Beast Snaggers. So I'll have 20 Beast Snaggers. So we're talking 60 boys right out of the gate. So uh, that's my horde build out or starting a horde. And then obviously I got my 20 Grots. I think I'm going to take them up to 30. So you're going to see me take these guys, these guys, and I'm going to do some painting this year. So like I've always said, I've always wanted to show you guys kind of how I paint my boys and how I get this look here. And I've just never been able to get the camera and the sound and everything together to get that done. This year, we're going to try to get it done. And I don't care if I just paint one boy. I'm going to show you kind of my techniques of painting. So again, look forward to that in the future, 2023. Look for a showcase. So we have this. I've been, you know, on this little hiatus I took. I haven't stopped hobbying, so I have painted. So we're gonna do a showcase on this. This is my half track that is gonna be accounts as a truck. I just finished painting it yesterday. Okay, over here, you see this green thing. This is going to be a custom stompa. 
So I put this together about a year and a half ago uh, when I was doing some work for my friend George on his Stampa. I'm going to throw up some pictures here while I'm talking. But you can see when I had his Stampa and I was putting an extra gun on it that I was taking all the dimensions off of it because it was in my possession. So this is going to be my version of a totally 100% cardboard scratch built Stampa. So we're going to get that done. We're going to build this for 2023. At some point, we're going to go ahead, throw this in the mix and get this built. Uh, again, it's going to be the custom Stampa. So we're going to do the belly gun. I, instead of the regular Stampa kind of being round, this kind of roundish looking thing, I went asymmetrical. So when I went more with the flat side here where the boys kind of climb up and there's going to be ladders and stuff with a kind of a hunchback of Notre Dame over here skirt on the uh, right hand side uh, left left to you guys right hand side for the the stampa so again some 3d printing some uh, cardboard some cutting some little bit of uh, green stuff and you know milliput and that's going to end up being a custom stampa so that's coming up 100 percent scratch bill so look forward to that now the big project we are going to start another force, 100% brand new army, never before seen on the channel. To that extent, here is my bases, 50s, 40s, 32s, 25. So we went MDF, okay? So uh, reason why, okay, so bear with me, bear with me. I'm trying to grab everything here. Here is what we're going with. Okay, this is going to be the army. So you notice Crute Carnivore. So yes, that's just the kind of hint. But yes, 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 we're going Tau. So that's what's in these baggies back here. We are going to build a 100% printed, totally printed Tau Force using the STL files from a person out there in the interweb called Piper Makes. Now Adrian from Tabletop Titans, he uses the same STL files and prints and on his videos when he plays his towel, that's what he uh, puts on the table. So we're going to do Piper Makes 100%. I have zero models for towel made, assembled, zero. So we're going to go from having absolutely nothing that you guys are going to be able to watch me build a full army, paint the army, put the army on the table at some tournaments, and to include at the end another display board. So this is going to be from zero, absolutely nothing, all the way to another amazing electronics light show display board the whole works just like we did with the chaos chaos knights board and that's going to be a major underlying project that's going to be part of uh, the channel that's going to be kind of going all the way through as i'm building orcs painting orc stuff building a stampa i'm going to be posting videos every now and then of the progress of what we're doing on the tau so again for 2023 that's what's coming up in addition to simple stuff like this i've never used tufts before so this is actually my first purchase of uh this kind of you know terrain or uh basing materials as you guys have seen on all my stuff i've never used it so the tau uh, with these bases they're going to be uh, a jungle swamp kind of jungle so we're going to do some water stuff, uh, all kinds of, again, it's going to be crazy. Just trust me. The display board uh, is in my head right now. I know everything I want to do. I, I can see it. I can imagine it. Uh, again, this is going to be amazing. If you think the Chaos Nice board was good, uh, this is, again, it's going to be one step above that. So I just wanted to show you guys that I'm still here. I haven't been hit by a bus. Uh, again, apologize for not posting content. I appreciate everybody sticking around. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. This is what's for 2023. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. The big, big ticket item. Wow, almost forgot. 
for 2023, take a look at this. Bang. Yes, I am biting the bullet and I am getting me a frozen 8K 22 micron printer. Yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to start doing some 3D printing. So not only are you guys going to see me build the models, paint the models, put the display board together, but you're going to see all the trials and tribulations of a person who's never 3D printed before in his life, putting together a 3D printer, STL files, uploading it and seeing if I can get this whole thing to work. So I appreciate you guys. Like I said, I'm going to wrap this up. That's it. So. Please share me on Discords, Instagrams, Facebooks. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that notification bell. If you like what I'm doing, please, please stick with the channel. And like we always say, may all your dice rolls come up sixes unless you're looking for that one. Peace out, everybody.